project based learning is not good. Our students, as we can see in the next presentation, uh, don't, don't read. They don't have comprehension if the test is long. They don't like to read, to read if they don't have a comic, a figure, an image. They like comics. They don't like to read a book. We have a problem because you put an poster in your classroom with some information in text. They don't read. And the information don't arrive to the students because... Okay, what is the idea? Uh, <laughs> the idea is uh, we have an, uh, an study um, about technical drawing uh, in a pre-university uh, students. Uh, what is the idea? The, uh, the type, this, this type of students are focused to study architecture or uh, technical architecture, building engineering, okay, with the same, with the same name. Uh, they require advanced special reasoning, they require to solve complex problems, they require, they, they require to use abstraction and, this, and this composition of the uh, space, of the 3D space. For example, this uh, can be a question that you can uh, do uh, using a test, a pre-university test uh, of uh, technical drawing, which this fits perfectly the one on the left. We have uh, defined an online quizzes in, a, in this uh, uh, specific educational framework. This uh, quizzes uh, is an online and can be useful in education and the students can self-assess the learning process anytime, anywhere, and any number of times and receive immediately feedback on their performance and their performance. We have analyzed, this paper analyzed, over 20,000 responses of the preparatory online quiz for the Spanish University Admission Test, Selectividad. This is a free test that you can do on uh, the internet, basically uh, focusing the, to solve, to train, the student in the technical drawing subject. As you can see, the selectivity that is uh, an test uh, that you can compare with other uh, countries. I don't know if in the future we have this type of exam or not, and depends on the government. Uh, with, the, the, with the objective for improve future interaction of the test, the authors want to research the variables that increase the number of successful attempts and lower the number of questions skipped. What is experimental data that, uh, that we have collected in this paper? The analysis data included the following variables on the results on the online mock test. We have collected two years, uh, 2009 and 2015, uh, both in the both uh, exams, Jan and September, and we have collected the summary of the number of responses spaced, filed, and disregarded per question. In addition, more data was delivered from the content of the question. Uh, whether the question was only textual or included an illustration, length of the question included all responses as a process of reading comprehension difficulty, and knowledge subdomain inside the subject of technical drawing. We have compared 56 questions that are the same in the two years. Okay, the questions uh, was the same, 56 questions. I have here the correct uh, data. All the results, uh, all the results uh, you can read in the paper are more detailed and you can view what, uh, all the um, study that we have uh, developed with all the variables of the study. What is the idea, for example, Influence of image support. The skip rate was much lower when the question had image support. If the question has an image to 
understand the sentence, uh, the skip rate was uh, lower. The pass ratio was higher when a fewer was present, more or less. It's easy, it's easy to understand. You are working with a technical drawing. Uh, explain something of the space only with this uh, is more difficult. And when overlaying the same graph with, for both years, the results were very similar, regardless of the six years election. Performance across years. On 2009, the questions were more successfully answered and less likely to be skipped than six years later. For this reason, I can say project-based learning is uh, good or not good, because six years before, the educational type are more traditional. And now, with Bologna, with project-based learning, with all type of technologies that the students are using in the classroom, we have other type of, uh, of, of, of education. For example, um, the, the last week, my, my, my little child, okay, I was working with a sonometer. Seven years with a sonometer. Right? Yes, yes, this is a machine like a here and a microphone, and we are uh, in the Mediterranean Street Avenue in, in Barcelona. Uh, Thinking, uh, counting the, the cars that pass in a one minute. What? Maybe six years yeah, before you are uh, reading a test, you are making an exam. I have to uh, an exam with a five uh, page uh, with a, a ten very uh, very long questions with image support showed higher success rates overall, and the skip ratio was much uh, what uh, was much lower and in many cases close to zero. Performance between intakes. Of course, of both years the fail rate was higher in the September intake. The students who take the September exam are the ones uh, who did not pass the June exam and the skip rates and pass rates of both years were reversed. So yes, in the September students were more inclined to ask on, on 2015 than on uh, 2009, but were less successful in their attempts. This is this result is, is, is logic. We have the, uh, the, the the bad students in September, and maybe uh, they are not prepared to to answer the questions that we can in the test. Influence of question length. The responses you can see here. The success uh, ratio decreased from 2009 and 2015. This is the second sentence that. Uh, in that I am uh, working to say that maybe project-based learning and uh, not typical contents or typical education, you know, the, 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 the needs to read more, more, more and more, uh, there is a little problem because the, the, the question is uh, that the success ratio really increased when a picture was included, the students tend to skip longer questions more often. I have a, a friend that when we are sending an email, uh, this sentence I read, this sentence doesn't read, this sentence, and the problem is, uh, why are you arriving one hour later? Huh? What is the time that we are working? Do you read all the mail? No. It's logical that you have a problem. The question with, with illustrations were rightly skip it. They like more illustrations, they want to uh, understand, and this question uh, is not easy. Conclusions on the results. The students were more confident about their comments when dealing questions with image support, and therefore these questions were less difficult, easier to understand, more capable of motivating the students. As the length of the question increased, as a proxy for reviewing comprehension difficulty, the success rate decreased while the skip rate increased. Um, if we uh, want that an exam don't pass, you need to, to write long sentences, you need to put no images, no figures, and the students will follow the exam. If you want to uh, have a high rate of exam with past the exam with the students, okay, short sentences, image, 
plan, uh, explain the idea that you want to develop in the question. This is the, 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 the conclusions that you can... Uh, we need to think that we are comparing the results of 20,000 of uh, answers in two years, in this case, in a very specific context that is necessary, the image, to understand more the space, but more or less, we can extrapolate this data to other uh, studies that maybe is necessary to understand the 3D space. Uh, the findings suggest that students, uh, they have a problem with longer questions or failure to read all the answers of the multiple choice test if the sentences uh, are wrong. The fact that longer questions were skipped more often supports this hypothesis because students might abandon the question if they perceive that it was too long either. It's logical, maybe, because you uh, prefer that you have a limited time to answer the questions with a short sentences to, to, to ensure that you have the, the right answer and then you uh, pass the time with the long sentences in the, in the final uh, moment of the exam. And uh, we want to identify the causes of these results uh, because um, this uh, identification allows uh, the authors to include more questions with image support or phrase the non-graphic questions to be shorter or more easily and comprehensive. It's, it's something like if you are writing in Spanish, in my case, I use a long sentences and when we need to uh, write in English, it's impossible to understand the, the sentences if you are uh, conditional uh, sentences or one other or one other one and you need to uh, cut the, the sentences with a, a short uh, ideas. Uh, also the questions in the both years were the same. The analysis of the variation across the six years between stress so a reduction in the success ratio, ratio while the skip ratio is uh, relatively the same. And uh, we suggest that uh, while the students have quickly adopted new mobile and communication technologies, the curriculum they are taught and the way, the way they are tested has not adapted yet. It's something, the idea that I exposed at the first time of this presentation. Uh, we have uh, modified the typology of the education, but maybe we don't have uh, modify the type of the exams or the type to uh, evaluate the competencies and the skills of the students um, specifically in this type of education I am engineer but I am working with architectures with, and with architects and the main idea of this type of uh, profession is the project, the project, the project, the project but not to improve the education you need to do good projects when you finish your degree. Uh, the way to improve the projects or the way uh, that I am explaining you these professional skills is not important. And we have this situation that the students, technological students, uh, I am advisor uh, in the university. Oh, what's the problem? I put in the class two hours of PDF, pam, 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 it's so boring, it's impossible, and when I ask to the teacher, can you give me the PDF, no, 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 the PDF is mine, if I give you the PDF, you study the PDF, you, not, you don't need to study the PDF, the PDF is, is a guide for uh, to develop and to share uh, new information of the project. Okay, but if you don't give me the PDF, I don't have the, the guide to begin this search. And what is the problem? This is the problem. We need uh, graphical uh, information, illustrations, and the teachers and the idea in architecture and uh, building engineering. Uh, I don't know, uh, the, the, the education has not uh, improved in the last years. Future work, we want to uh, improve and we want to measure of other years. Uh, we want to use statistical hypothesis testing to provide more robust conclusions. 
and we want to measure question complexity more accurately. The semantic analysis of the content of the question will also be explored in future studies. And that's all. In this case, it's something difficult to me because I am an associate of the project and someone that uh, can uh, help uh, with, in, with to the statistical uh, study of the variables. Okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much.